they near the second last. Wakia out in front from Brogue Dasnu over towards the inside Rock Lobster behind them. In fourth is Walker's Point, but heading to the final flight. Wakia has been in front from Flagfall. A little awkward at the last, but it is four lengths clear. Brogue Dasnu a second, then Rock Lobster. But Wakia, driven out by Johnny Berry, will win the opener. For Carl Thornton, Brogue Dasnu a second, Rock Lobster third, Walker's Point four, clear of Ask David. They near the second last. Wakia out in front. From Brogue Dasnu over towards the inside, Rock Lobster behind them. In fourth is Walker's Point, but heading to the final flight. Wakia has been in front from Flagfall. A little awkward at the last, but it is four lengths clear. Brogue Dasnu a second, then Rock Lobster. But Wakia, driven out by Johnny Berry, will win the opener. For Carl Thornton, Brogue Dasnu a second, Rock Lobster third, Walker's Point four, clear of Ask David. As they near the second last flight, Whizzy Rascal still the leader and five or six clear. Kira Royal second, Ross Haven Lady third, and they're a long way clear of Persian Breeze as the Whizzy Rascal comes to jump the final flight with a clear lead over safely. Six or seven clear. Back in second, Kira Royal pressed for the second spot by Ross Haven Lady, but Whizzy Rascal out in front has made all to win for Lisa O'Neill and Liz Doyle. Close for second, Kira Royal just second ahead of Ross Haven Lady, and then a long break back to Persian Breeze and Poetic Lady. As they near the second last flight, Whizzy Rascal still the leader and five or six clear. Kira Royal second, Ross Haven Lady third, and they're a long way clear of Persian Breeze as the Whizzy Rascal comes to jump the final flight with a clear lead over safely, six or seven clear. Back in second, Kira Royal pressed for the second spot by Ross Haven Lady, but Whizzy Rascal out in front has made all to win for Lisa O'Neill and Liz Doyle. Close for second, Kira Royal just second ahead of Ross Haven Lady. And then a long break back to Persian Breeze and Poetic Lady. As they near the second last, Simiel still there over on the far side. You do go in the center, Simiel led. You do go second, double Windsor third, and then Wild and Wonderful, but heading for the final flight. Simiel still the leader for Connor Brazel. You do go in second. Over the last, Simiel out in front, three lengths clear. Double Windsor staying on on the far side. You do go in third, but Simiel and Connor Brazel the leader by less than two lengths as they go to the line. Simiel wins it by a length and a half for Connor Brazel and Henry de Bromhead. Double Windsor second. You do go third, wild and wonderful, four clear of chances. As they near the second last, Simiel still there over on the far side. You do go in the center, Simiel led. You do go second, double Windsor third, and then wild and wonderful, but heading for the final flight. Simiel still the leader for Connor Brazel. You do go in second. Over the last, Simiel out in front, three lengths clear. Double Windsor staying on on the far side. You do go in third, but Simiel and Connor Brazel the leader by less than two lengths as they go to the line. Simiel wins it by a length and a half for Connor Brazel and Henry de Bromhead. Double Windsor second. You do go third, wild and wonderful, four clear of chances. Nate of Lass, edging ahead now of Rock on Back, Dixie Highway, Ainsley and Dunaparsty behind them as they come to jump to second last. Not much to choose between the leading pair, Nate of Lass on the near side. Rock on Back trying to rally, they're clear of Dixie Highway and Ainsley. Down to the final flight, not much between them. Nate of Lass on the near side, dived at it but leads. In second is Rock on Back, Ainsley and Craig Starr staying on behind them as they go to the line. Native Lass from Rock on Back, Native Lass on the near side of Rock on Back. Craig Starr might be third ahead of Ainsley and then Venture Lazarus. Native Lass edging ahead now of Rock on Back, Dixie Highway, Ainsley and Dunaparsty behind them as they come to jump to second last. Not much to choose between the leading pair, Native Lass. On the near side, Rock on Back trying to rally. They're clear of Dixie Highway and Ainsley. Down to the final flight, not much between them. Native Lass on the near side, dived at it but leads. In second is Rock on Back, Ainsley and Craig Starr staying on behind them as they go to the line. Native Lass from Rock on Back, Native Lass on the near side of Rock on Back. Craig Starr might be third ahead of Ainsley and then Venture Lazarus. Coming there, two challenges. They near the second last flight. Gordon Beebe towards the far side, near side finding touch. Appears to be travelling well. I slip between them. Over on the rail is Neddy Vaughan as they come to jump the final flight. Finding touch, near side goes on from Gordon Beebe. Neddy Vaughan, I slip. The shock run is staying on. But out in front, it's finding touch driven out as they go to the line. 
finding touch wins it for Niall Madden from court and BB close for third Neddy Vaughan and the shock run and then I slip coming there two challenges they near the second last flight court and BB towards the far side near side finding touch appears to be traveling well I slip between them over on the rail is Neddy Vaughan as they come to jump the final flight finding touch near side goes on from court and BB Neddy Vaughan I slip the shock run is staying on but out in front, it's Finding Touch driven out as they go to the line. Finding Touch wins it for Niall Madden from Court and BB. Close for third, Neddy Vaughan and the shock run and then I slip. They near the second last, the King of Brega joined by War of the Pennies near side. War of the Pennies, Manuka coming there now on the extreme stand side in blue and white. Manuka stand side if you can catch me, the King of Brega towards the inner as they jump the last. War of the Pennies in the center, Manuka stand side, they fight it out, the King of Brega is third. War of the Pennies with a narrow advantage from Manuka as they go to the line. War of the Pennies from Manuka, the King of Brega, you can't catch me for it and then cross you boy. They near the second last, the King of Brega joined by War of the Pennies near side, War of the Pennies, Manuka coming there now on the extreme stand side in blue and white. Manuka stand side if you can catch me, the King of Brega towards the inner as they jump the last. War of the Pennies in the center, Manuka stand side, they fight it out, the King of Brega is third. War of the Pennies with an arrow advantage from Manuka as they go to the line. War of the Pennies from Manuka, the King of Brega, you can not catch me for it and then cross you boy. As they head to the furlong pole, over on the far side, Silog Pio was stretched on into a clear lead now. Court Artist is second, Cavallo the outside of longtime leader Whitburst Joyce, but inside the final furlong, out in front, Silog Pio clear by about eight lengths, driven out will win the bumper in good style. Silog Pio wins, Court Artist second, Cavallo third, longtime leader Whitburst Joyce fourth, and a long break back to fifth place, Victorum. As they head to the furlong pole, over on the far side, Silog Pio was stretched on into a clear lead now. Court Artist is second, Cavallo the outside of longtime leader Whitburst Joyce, but inside the final furlong. Out in front, Silog Pio clear by about eight lengths. Driven out will win the bumper in good style. Silog Pio wins, Court Artist second, Cavallo third, longtime leader Whitburst Joyce fourth, and a long break back to fifth place, Victorum.